What's up guys, Jacob here, and today I'm going to cover a topic that I've been asked a lot lately, and that's how to connect your receiver to your flight controller. Okay, so the first thing you have to know is that the receiver needs power, right? So you need to connect the 5 volts anywhere where you have 5 volts on your craft. Now most people run a voltage regulator, so, so it shouldn't be all too hard to find. Now if you if you're using the receiver port, you can actually find one pin that actually has 5 volts, usually. Just check your manual for more details. Now, then you also need a ground. Now, the ground can be connected anywhere in your craft where you have ground. Now, once again, if you're using the receiver port, there's another pin, which is ground. Now, we have come to the signal. Now, the signal comes in three different ways. You can use PWM. Or you can use PPM or you can use SBUS. The first one is PWM, that's the oldest one. And PWM essentially is when you have every channel assigned to one single pin. That's why the receiver has so many pins. Now this is a really old way of doing it and I wouldn't really recommend it. It's not very reliable and it's just a bunch of cables. Now, most receivers, basically all of them, actually supports PPM, and that's a newer protocol. What PPM basically is, is that it is all of these PPM signals crammed into one analog signal. So if you're using PPM, some receivers has to be switched to PPM with a button. Then you can just connect the PPM uh, output from your receiver and connect that to the PPM input on your flight controller. Now that input can actually be located on the receiver port, port, it's one of the pins there. Now check your flight controller manual for more information on which pin it actually is. So here's where the breakout cable that you get with your flight controller comes into play. Now using that cable you can just connect it to the receiver port and you can check which one's 5 volt connected to 5 volt which one's ground, connect that to ground, and then connect the PPM to the PPM. And you're all set to go. Now at this point, you can just remove the cables you don't need from the harness. Now, there's a third uh, way of doing this, and that's using the protocol SBUS. Now some more expensive and newer uh, receivers actually supports SBUS. And what SBUS is, is that it's a dig digital way of uh, uh, transferring your instructions from the controller. So instead of the analog signal, uh, which we see in PPM and PWM, it's actually digital. So it's way faster and it's more reliable. Okay, so let's say you have a SBUS enabled receiver. Then you can just connect the SBUS to either if your flight controller has a specific SBUS input, then you can see that in the manual, or you can connect that to one of the UART ports. Once you've connected that cable to the, one of the UART ports, you can look in your software, uh, is it, it might be Betaflight or it might be Cleanflight or something else entirely. Then you just turn on the UART port and make sure to change the receiver type to SBUS. Okay, so that was a quick explanation of how to connect your receiver to your flight controller. The three different methods of communication uh, being PWM, PPM and SBUS. And I hope it helps and if you have any questions just ask them in the comment section below. And in the meantime, I'll leave you with a few videos you can check out if you like our stuff. Bye!